deal with a country like North Korea? Isolation, threats, or dialogue? Norwegian artist Morten Travik has worked with the regime for years. Now he's here to propose a risky project. A modern art academy inside the world's most secluded country. Okay, so you visit my country more than 11 or 12 or something. It's a good thing because then you came here not as a tourist but you came here as a cultural exchange and mutual understanding between the countries. So I, I should appreciate your visit. But you should welcome uh, our troops as well to other countries. You should be the introducer, introducing the Korean culture to the others. I am the introducer. This is the reason why we are here, why we are having this meeting. You are aware that in our part of the world there is a lot of uh, political negativity towards the DPRK. So for each of the projects that we do together, we are like the drop that hollows out the stone, as they say. How to deal with it? What is your plan? The idea for, for this DMZ Academy mm. is that by inviting artists from many yeah, yeah. countries and many continents, we are creating more and more understanding and more and more people realize that the DPRK is open. Okay. okay, so calling this plan, so step by step, that I hope to develop, and improve, and facilitate a cultural exchange between your country and my country. In Samsung B. <laughs> Our top story this morning, the dangerous situation on the Korean Peninsula is getting more intense. War of words between the US and North Korea is intensifying. President Trump says Kim Jong-un will be tested like never before. So who will flinch first? After more than two years of planning, Morton arrives in North Korea with a select group of international artists. The group is invited to spend a week in the capital Pyongyang, producing art and meeting North Korean colleagues who rarely get input from the outside world. The DMZ Academy is the first ever contemporary art seminar in North Korea. For me, the scene yeah, is very similar to some small hobby planet, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the road, whole landscape. The people, you know, people are riding bicycles. Morton has hand-picked the foreign artists, who all represent art forms not known or allowed in North Korea. His idea is to use modern art as a Trojan horse inside the totalitarian regime. It's not to bring peace and democracy to North Korea. I mean, they have to sort that out themselves. But it is to question the way we and they look at the world. To rage within the machine instead of raging against it. Because there are still some, you know, happy people. They're pretty, uh, pretty happy. The Academy is hosted by the Committee for Cultural Relations. <laughs> Chocolate Eskimo? Ice cream anyone? 
Their goal is to turn the artists into North Korean allies. Delicious. An invitation they might regret. Can you walking or staying here? No, I think we are going back in the bus. But if you want to have a walk, it should be fine. Just go. Now we'll go to jail. Yeah. You violate the traffic yeah. regulation. Also, of course, this is my, it's not my fault, but it's I, 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 please, please, <laughs> one other time, please, <laughs> don't read it again, okay. like this, OK? He's just hoping to be arrested by one of the beautiful traffic oh, ladies. Okay, okay. And yeah. being tortured. Yes, <laughs> being tortured, very... So being tortured by the beautiful Very intimately, police, uh, yes. No problem. <laughs> If our people see him just crossing the road, then they will say, oh, you, why are you crossing the road? You're liar. So that is why, avoid, avoid that. <laughs> Chimney, she just won. Yeah, yeah. He, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was actually showing what not to do. Again. Yeah. I started building sound systems. And when I finished one, I would start another one. And that became like an addiction. I can't bring physical artworks to North Korea, but I can bring a soundscape and talk about perception of reality. All right, guys, the idea behind this whole enterprise is actually to expose you to North Korea and vice versa and see what happens, basically. We probably can jump into the questions about how to produce and... You will be sharing studios with Korean artists. When we get to the situation where we can present ourselves, I think we should just try to engage them in an inviting way. It will be like in a, one of the studios or in a meeting room at the Pyongyang University of Fine Arts. Uh, but the committee asks to review the contents of your presentations. Mm -hmm. Just to uh, make sure that you will not be too naughty. <laughs> Is it something uh, naughty? A... Oh, it's very, very naughty. Is it very French? It's very universal, I must say. I hope it's not, not too rotten. I kept it in the fridge, but... So it's... Oh, it's, it, it's kind of a bit like... But... <laughs> no, it still smells okay. It's, it, this is my blood. It's your own blood? It's my own blood, yes. I have like a bottle in my freezer at home, and I just took a sample of it. So what do you use it for? What? What do you use? Uh, uh, um, I took into uh, for the presentation because I printed a poster with human blood as well. Mm -hmm. So I used this this little tool. So you know, I spike my finger. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. And I, I sign my my books like, like this. this. Yeah. What inspires me is what is negative in the human mind. It's... Right now I'm crushing bones to create uh, ink. It comes from this uh, piece of hip, uh, human hip, that will be used then um, for printing. So maybe you can see that like, the texture is very abrasive. North Korea triggers my curiosity a lot. I'm very curious to see what happens when you confront our vision of art and their vision of art. Can I sit? Here? You mean this? A censorship screening is set up by Mr. Hum. He wants to make sure that North Korean artists will not be contaminated by their visitors. I am removing what, is, what has been rejected. <laughs> they don't want this. this this, this, or this. So I work with the music industry. 
and I designed cover artworks for bands. So this is like a jacket, a rock jacket, but with the patches stitched on the back of the guitar player. Yeah, album volunteers. So this I will show, show and I will explain. Me, I cannot get the point. Uh, please uh, give me the message you want to convey. So look, this is blood. We made ink with the blood and we printed 100 copies of this poster with my blood. <laughs> if I can interject, as an artist, if you want to show people that I am willing to do anything for my art, you use your own blood. It's like your own heart, your own feelings into your art. I understand that you <laughs> extracted your own blood and you used coffins. It's really, you know, kind of horrifying. It's bizarre. <laughs> bizarre, yes. <laughs> printing, but uh, just showing them this is a bizarre printing. It's I don't think that's kind of message that uh, inspire people. At the moment, I would say um, you are not ready. So who will be the next? Oh, I can, yeah. Miss Yun, this is for you. Okay, thank you. But I need to sign it before. What are you doing? <laughs> Forever oh. to my future wife, Miss Y. Why you and this is called the permafrost. Permafrost. Yeah. Do you have some painting related to people's life? Everyday life, you mean? Nothing related to politics. Just you know, mood. It's very you have to let it dry for a few minutes. Yeah, thank you. Kiss me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many women did you think? Just to my girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> I think Mr. Ham, he will, he will kill you. Why? Because you give him this extremely hard task. No, <laughs> soft task. <laughs> soft task, come on. Okay. All right, so see you tomorrow then. Eh? Yeah. I think it would be fine. Beautiful. I love this clash of cultures. No one has shown more contempt for other nations and for the well-being of their own people than the depraved regime in North Korea. If the righteous many do not confront the wicked few, then evil will triumph. It is time for all nations to work together to isolate the Kim regime until it ceases its hostile behavior. Every morning, flag ceremonies take place to motivate people on their way to work. German sound artist Nick has made an appointment with Mr. Hum to record the performance. Good morning. But when Mr. Hum does not show up, Nick faces a dilemma. Here's the wall. We can't get through here without Mr. Hum. I'm worried that, that Mr. Hum is not amused when we go without him, um, but we could also just go. Thank you.
and acting alone with all the gears, with the especially with camera, with microphone, pointing like this, it looks suspicious without explanation. And okay. without me, you cannot explain it to the local people. Okay. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. You could be mistaken for something else you are not. Okay. That's why I'm here. I thought because it's just a few meters, it's okay because you knew that I'm here and that I'm going, I thought it's okay if I already start. Without explanation, it looks suspicious okay. in our society. It looks like it is not supposed to be there. Or... It looks like suspicious. Okay. <laughs> Yes. All right. Okay. No other but problems, but I'm, you know. I'm sorry. I apologize. And it could be better. What's up? Yeah. I what got. Have, what have you done now? I have done very nice photographs. The hosts are personally responsible for their guests. Their job is to stay with them at all time, and of course, make them fall in love with Korean art and culture. Oh, look at that. I think you will struggle to find any society anywhere in the world where art is used to promote the state ideology to such an extent as you will see in North Korea. You see art everywhere. But all of that art is tailor-made for one purpose, one purpose only. So our president Kim Il-sung said, it is actually the way the painters should paint. Oh, it's, it's, it's crazy good quality. We have to keep in mind that the history of modern art to a North Korean stops around 100 years ago when Picasso started making naughty experiments. If you teach the students about the development of the European classical painting history, do you also go further, like the Romantic area, Impressionists, Cubism, and the modern art history, or where do you stop? The important thing is that we have to be critical about the pieces. Mm. We take only something we really need and mm. apply it. I have no idea how it's going to look like before I start. It's a really big mystery each time. Of course, there is always hidden information in artworks because it's a language. So if you want to understand a language, you also have to give it effort. So my strategy for being in North Korea is to remember all the time that I'm a guest there. I'm there to become friends. Any new person you meet is a potential friend, and so is also a North Korean. The US, the US is under our target. Understand? Yeah. And Sorry. these are the weapons, mm. as you see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Simple. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Anything more? Uh, yeah, this, because we have the war here. Mm -hmm. uh, and here's the peace um, yes. stuff. Yes, the peace is being defended by the, our Army. strong armies. Mm. That's all. So let's hope for peace. Yeah, let's hope. Yeah, let's work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we ask the artist in the 55 years he's worked here, what has been his favorite moment? <laughs> so there's a specific moment. Actually, he considered uh, the moments whenever our great leader sees works uh, 
of his and appreciate him. He considered it to be the happiest moment. Very lucky, <laughs> happy man. He's painting it from the photo of a painting. That's mm. why. Uh, uh, this is uh, what he drew many years before. Mm -hmm. He's trying to complete perfect mm -hmm. the picture. Adam Dapsa. They're not painting from their minds. They're not painting with an idea. They're painting from a copy. Well, this is the second edition of Sonic in London. Two days taking over the entire venue. And it's music which is visual or visual art which is sonic. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I spent 20 years directing opera, orchestras and visualising music. I just want to wish you luck for the performance because I know it's the first time you do it and you're probably very, very nervous. <laughs> I'm especially inspired by presenting unknown artists from cultures we in the UK may not know of. So during this trip, I hope that I meet people and can find out, can I work with these people? At the Music Conservatory, the group is given a traditional tour by the director. Mick and Kathy are supposed to give lectures to students here. But when the tour ends, those plans have obviously been changed. Oh, we are now going to have a little talk, yes, about Mr. Nick to do the presentation. What the presentation looks like? But, come on, we already agreed on this. Okay. Yeah? Sunday? I made recordings, sound recordings, from the unaudible spectrum. They are above and below what we can hear. Mm. But I transferred them into the audible. Mm. Uh, will here be any people that would hear it, other than us? No? Then I won't do it. It doesn't make any sense. He will hear it. What? He will hear it. He will hear it, yeah, that's true. Okay, let's do it. And Mr. Lee, um, about me being able to present to a small group of musicians, as was planned, the plan, please. We will take it, but now we were just getting Nick's thing going. And, and maybe so we... We will get there, but... Okay. He's not interested, or... no? He got bullied. What, what is that? He heard already? He heard already. But he can't because it's from the uh, upper uh, ultrasonic. That's um, bats and insects that you can't hear. So he hasn't heard it before. Because it's, uh, um, these are 40 kilohertz and 60 kilohertz. And we can only hear to 20 kilohertz maximum if he has the best ears on the planet. <laughs>
right now, even I have to say it's not very easy. All right? And I beg you to respect that opinion. You are really keeping us, the whole group, on a very, very tight leash, as we say. Yeah. You, know, you know the dog? Yeah. When you walk the dog, you are keeping the dog on the leash. Right? We did, we did that. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's an expression. Maybe we go out somewhere and just... Uh, but but, but you, see, but, but you see, it's even a problem to go out somewhere. Yeah, because, yes, then, because then somebody would want to do something and they will be told off. And we are just making even stronger the, the negative feeling. So then, then I would say it's, even, it's actually better that we just stay in the hotel, we don't go anywhere. Because it always is a problem. Okay, Martin, because, then, you are, then, because you are not trusting Yeah, us. I understand. Maybe we talk off the camera. Yes. You come here and you see that the people are really happy. And that they are really, that, that, that there is, there's really something functioning. Um, but then uh, it shows you later when you kind of come to the limits. It shows how it feels like when you just step a little bit um, out of the frame, and then it becomes really terrible. You know what I heard about what some guys from the committee said about you that you were like a Chinese journalist and that you were not an artist because you are just a photographer and that you were not important for the project. Okay, I'm, I'm fine because in this country people. Don't see, you know, photograph that that's a form of art. Yeah. That's a very, you know, I know, I know it's a very it's complicated very, topic, you yeah. know. <laughs> but I'm okay, you know, they, they, they see me as, you know, like a, like a fucking uh, photojournalist. That, that'd be fun for me. I'm a photographer and uh, also a filmmaker. I'm doing my own work as well as the commercial work. I think China and North Korea, we are very cultural closed country because we are used to have the same political system. Our cultures were both influenced by a Soviet culture. I was like, okay, let's take a time machine to my past. It's always a bit hard to distinguish when you're here between you being uptight and paranoid and real difficulties. So I think what this project and the outcome so far shows is the dilemma the North Koreans find themselves in. The wish for some kind of controlled interaction with the outside world. But it's impossible to interact without getting influenced. They have been trying to completely dictate the terms, and that simply doesn't work. And deep down, they do understand it. Morton's confrontation with the hosts had an effect, and the artists are now given more freedom to do what they came for. Okay. It's a nice color, I think. Ooh, this is a beautiful green. Strange. It's very <laughs> different from 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 yours, but uh, this is how it can look like in the beginning. So, what do you think? I mean, yeah. It means nothing. It doesn't rep represent anything, but it's it's a very open way of working. It's like a poetry, like music almost.
Your name? Dicha. 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 Mr. Dicha. Mr. Hendrik. And you? What's your name? My name is Cholfun. 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 Mr. Cholfun. The trio. The trio. Yeah, it's nice. The three knights. The three musketeers of watercolors. You, you like it? Yeah? You like? It's okay? It's okay. Could you look at camera, please? Like this, it's great. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. That's okay, don't be nervous. So, can you leave your family or you yeah, live alone? I can leave my family. Okay, that's uh, better. But when I was your age, I came to Beijing, I used to live myself because my, my parents they were in another city. Oh, I mean, if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, life will, life will change. It will be more, yeah, you feel definitely. much better. Yeah. You also say when you get married, your yeah. life change. Marriage is kind of, we call it the must important uh, thing in your, your life. life. Yeah. Yesterday I saw two, two boys they're walking. They're not young, they're 18 years old, like hand in hand. I was like, in, in, you know, in the West, they look like, are they gay, gay couple? You know? <laughs> Do you think is there any gay here in North Korea? No? And I think it is gay thing and all these lesbian things, uh, kind of production of capitalist system. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We educate people, the only good thing, so mm. you know, they can't even imagine about this gay or lesbian or something like that, you know. They just walk hand in hand because they are friends. I know, I understand. And from the same kind of political yeah. system. But in China now, you know, gay, it's not illegal, you can't get married, but there's some gay scene, gay bar. Yeah, China not, changed not to another country. country. Not your country, yeah. So, what, 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 so what's your next dream? My next dream? Yeah. <laughs> to have a nice apartment? <laughs> it should be a... In a country, if you ask about dream, it's not about material things, it's about, oh. you know. Yeah, yes, it's, it's, it's totally The wisdom true. of uh, yeah, we, dream for your destiny. <laughs> yeah, we Chinese have changed to a, another kind of person, you know. Some kind of bad person. A lot of young Chinese, when, when they're talking about dreams, are always about, you know, I want to be a boss, I want a, a new apartment, I want a new car like this. Nobody talking about, you know, your kind of dream. My okay. dream. <laughs> Uh, my dream would be uh, to become very just a simple dream. Then uh, my dream would be to become a you know, a person, which my name would be remembered by the next generation. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Time, a few times here is, is very slow, it's very good. And the air is very fresh.
we are really proud of this having a great leader. We consider ourselves very lucky. Even if the foreign people doesn't understand it. What do you feel? What, what emotions do you feel when you see him? I feel absolutely happy and honest. Give me more than that. Expand on that for me. What do you feel when you meet a great person? Like a, a great man? Have you ever wept in awe? Oh. Of course. Mm. I kind of forget is that the moment when I was very lucky in the new festival. Yeah. Sorry, and this is one of the no, 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 sorry. This is one of the you know, powers, power source, such as this, that the boring ones don't understand. This is also like, one of this unity, this yeah. mood, this kind of philosophy, spirit. It is, uh, we consider it to be the most powerful weapon for our nation, which is unique to our nation. Yeah. Mm. No, it's true. You have a unity that we don't have. With political tensions already running high, North Korea taunts the world. They detonate their first hydrogen bomb, just north of Pyongyang. Did you notice the ground? My bed was shaking. And it felt like a small earthquake. No. And the light pulse no, outside it's the room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll, well, let's go let's yeah, over there and I'll, I'll put my here. laptop up. Please. North Korea underground nuclear test feared. South Korea calls national security meeting after earthquake of magnitude 6.3 detected near a North Korean testing area. Did you notice the earthquake? That was at 12 o'clock? Yeah. They don't know yet. Tell them. In the world news right now is that your, your country has conducted uh, another nuclear test. And that there will be a press conference. We very strongly request that we can see this press conference. Did you see anything relevant, you know? Yeah, I just spoke to him, and uh, they are fully armed. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are one of the world powers now, which the you US are one of the world's most powerful country with the most powerful weapon, which the US should be very well aware of. So they should be careful about what they speak to us now. Wow, you're very brave saying that, Mr. Ham, because my fear is that uh, America will wipe out this country in seconds. You know, the provocations by Trump, what kind of uh, aggressive uh, words 
address the us coming out. We have to defend our sovereignty, our mm. identity. I mean, this is serious. We, yeah. you know, your leader we is have, a very powerful been, man and is very strong-minded, and yeah. we have another man in the West who is equally as crazy but, at hitting the button. They yeah. are both obsessed with hitting the button. So the choice depends on him. He hits the button. He is to blame, not us. I know, but we'll all be gone. We but won't it's even know. Because of him, not because of us. No, no, no. We've been yeah. living under these sanctions and everything for so many years. We have nothing more to fear. Do you know initially who divided your country? Who divided North and South Korea? It's the US. Yeah, exactly. That's the shame. They divided you in the first place. They made this nation too, which you should not be. I, you know, for being someone from Ireland, I have a country that's divided. I hate this. Our country should not be divided. Yeah, Ireland should be one. Yes, yeah, exactly the same. This is, you know, it should not be two. One nation. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I just popped the Xanax. I'm waiting for it to, uh, to kick in and we'll see what happened, basically. But yeah, it seems that we are in for some sighting now, so. Sorry, I'm just curious. There was a test which you may know about. You know, we had the H-bomb test. Mm -hmm. Did you feel the shaking in the tower? No. What was your view of the test? I'm feeling very proud of that. Because I, I'm a citizen of a very powerful nation. Yeah, that's my opinion. No more weak, no more weak country we are. We have a good view on the end of mankind here. What a beautiful day. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. Now North Korea's reckless pursuit of nuclear weapons threatens the entire world with unthinkable loss of human life. The United States has great strength and patience. But if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. While the world worries about a potential nuclear war, the artists are ready for the conclusion of a cultural standoff. It is my great pleasure to see all of us gathered here at last. Many of us have to overcome our own fears to be able to meet. We also feel that it is a very, very important time to visit the DPRK now that the tensions are so high. So good morning uh, everyone, my name is Jean, I come from Paris and I'm a visual artist and designer. So the name of this project is called Single Heart Unity. I took photography of someone walking, tac, 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 and then I duplicated those people to make this crowd. 
it's a group made out of one single heart. I wish you to produce more of this kind of artworks. Thank you very it's much. Hot. Yeah, <laughs> this is reflecting the Ilsin Dangyeol. Ilsin Dangyeol? Ilsin Dangyeol. Ilsin Dangyeol. Ah, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an independent artist, that means I'm a freelancer. So I. So I make a living by doing commercial job and also I can sell in my work in gallery. Light and color is my weapon. It's all about the light. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's all my paintings. Is it all oil painting? Yeah, all of them are oil painting. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. Thank you. At least like talking to each other, looking at each other's eyes, there was an exchange. The artists themselves, they are friendly. It's also not clear what they really think about their own regime. I would have liked to have heard more from them, to talk more about their work. But I'm not sure they have the language yet here. So of course, then we are living in a different country, different culture. But what I cannot understand, they are living in the same world of arts. <laughs> it was not like a huge lecture in the stadium, but still, I mean, we had an exchange, a real one. So what is see you again in Korea? 다시 만납시다. 다시 만납시다. Yeah. After a week where both sides might feel they sacrificed too much, the artists are ready to return to the outside world. I'm not really prepared to settle the accounts yet because I still think it's too early to say. Maybe one day, 20, 30 years from now, then we can assess what it meant or not. It's very strange to leave them now because the situation is so tense. But I hope it's just the beginning of something. You cannot convert the North Koreans. They would rather die than bending to show their ass. So this I admire. I mean, they show balls. It's a totalitarian fascist regime and I experienced it. Still, I would hope to meet some of the people we met here in 25 years, when maybe circumstances have changed. I know the country is very deep. We're just living on you know, the surface. If the country will open, I think they will change rapidly. Historic statements coming from North Korea right now. President Trump has now agreed to meet North Korean leader. Most importantly, I want to thank Chairman Kim for taking the first bold step and we're ready to write a new chapter between our nations. 
Kim has the chance to seize an incredible future for his people. So, you never know, right? Why do you give up on anything? If you never work with countries which are in a difficult regime, how will they ever change? And if a country is shut off as North Korea, what do we expect? <laughs>